Well, hello to everybody out there in this great big world. This is your brother Dana, and I'm coming to you from the city of Chicago with another speaking truth regardless. One of the things while I was in Christianity, what they taught me was to always speak the truth regardless. And I do carry that with me to this day. And so to you, my white evangelical family members, I'd like to share this with you. And this was stirred up in me after I saw on the news again today that this Omicron variant seems to be getting a little out of control. Exodus chapter 7, verse 4, it says, Then I will lay my hand on Egypt, and with mighty acts of judgment, I, the Lord, will bring out my divisions, my people, the Israelites, and the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord when I stretch out my hand of judgment against Egypt and I bring out my chosen people. And so I want to pick out to you now a common uh, commonality in these. Uh, first one, when Moses and Aaron in front of Pharaoh threw down their staff and the staff turned into a snake. Okay, verse 11 says, Pharaoh then summoned his wise men and his sorcerers, and the Egyptian magicians also did the same things by their secret arts. Each one threw down his staff, and it became a snake. But Aaron's staff swallowed up their staffs. Yet Pharaoh's heart became hard, and he would not listen to them, just as the Lord had said. Then we get to the plague when Moses turned the water into blood. And verse 22 said, But the Egyptian magicians did the same things by their secret arts. And Pharaoh's heart became hard. He would not listen to Moses nor Aaron. And then we get to the plague with the frogs. But verse 7, But the Egyptian magicians did the same things by their secret arts. They also made frogs come up out of the land of Egypt. But when you go to verse 15, it says, But when Pharaoh saw that there was relief, he hardened his heart and would not listen to Moses and Aaron, just as the Lord had said. In between that, we know that Pharaoh asked Moses to kill those frogs by the power of their God, and those frogs died. But instead of following through, Pharaoh once again hardened his heart and would not listen to Moses or Aaron. And so then we get to the plague of the gnats. But listen to this, verse 18 says, but when the magicians tried to produce gnats by their secret arts, they could not. And then you get to the plague of the flies. I will send swarms of flies on you and your officials, on your people, and into your houses. The houses of the Egyptians will be full of flies. Even the ground will be covered by them. But then we're going to jump to verse 22. And, but on that day I will deal differently with the land of Goshen, where my people live. No swarms of flies will be there, so that you will know that I, the Lord, am in this land. I will make a distinction between my people and your people. This sign will occur tomorrow, and that is when the Lord then put dense swarms of flies into Pharaoh's palace and into the houses of his officials. Throughout Egypt, the land was ruined by the flies. So you may be wondering why I am sharing this with you. I'm sharing this with you because there is a very important common denominator in the story of Moses and Egypt, as there is with what's going on in America or the United States of America. And that common denominator is both nations, one had and one still is, enslaving the true chosen people of the Most High Yah. Thus, 
is why there is no vaccine out there that will be able to stop or keep the judgment or the judges or the justice of, of the Most High God from doing today what he did for his children in Egypt. That is why I started with Exodus chapter 7, verse 4. Then I will lay my hand on the United States of America, and with mighty acts of judgment, of justice, I will bring out my divisions, those of us who will be clinging to the true chosen people of the Most High God, just as the Bible tells us to do so. I will bring out my divisions, my people, the Israelites, and the Americans will know that I am the Most High Yah when I stretch out my hand against the United States of America and bring the Israelites, my chosen people, out of it. So there was a point in time when our labs and our technology and what we are capable of doing with our scientists, technicians. But the reality of, of it is to this. We, white America, have a massive, unrepentive sin on our hands. And it is the same sin of the Egyptians refusing to let God's chosen people go so they could go and worship their God, the Most High Yah, in spirit and in truth outside of the religion of Christianity. But up to this point, this nation has refused to let them go and has refused to repent of it. And just like the Egyptians, at one point, our scientists, our technicians, our advancements in technology, their secret sorcerers and magicians will not be able to match or take away the judgment of the Most High Yah, who has returned to this land to take His children and those of us who are clinging to His children home. And with a heavy heart I bring this message to you. Because I know the reality of the pride that lies within us when we've been taught all our life that we are right. If it wasn't for us, we did this. <laughs> to know, just as Jeremiah said, that all that is lies. I know that pride. And I know how strong that pride is. And I know after everything that Pharaoh and the Egyptians with stood and went through at the mighty hand of the Most High Yah, God, they still refused to repent. And that is why I come before you tonight with this message with a heavy heart. But to those of you who have an ear to hear and an I to see what is going on and to comprehend that God's word remains the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, you would understand this truth. And this truth for you, like me, will set you free. This is your brother Dana coming to you from Chicago with another speaking truth regardless. Shalom.